Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is a indoor worm farming channel. And today we're going to look in on my lasagna bin. And today is going to be the end of the lasagna bin. So let's take a look in on here and I'll explain what we did and uh, why it's ending. So first of all, I started this experiment a couple years ago to see if I could have worms growing in an area that I uh, wouldn't have to shred any paper. And I think I have definitely proven that they will eat anything, even if it's not shredded. So the cardboard, even though it goes faster, if it is shredded, uh, the worms will continue to eat, even if it is not. So it started out as not just that, but also a bit of a breeding experiment because I had seen that worms do seem to enjoy being uh, in between the flutes of the cardboard like this. You can kind of see that they do go in there, but it didn't actually increase the breeding at all. So what we're going to do is we're going to reduce some bins here, make room some, for some of my tropical plants, and I'll show you that this is only two and a half weeks old and this is the shape of the cardboard at this point. So I think that you, if your shredder dies on you, you absolutely can just put sheets of cardboard in there and the worms will eat it. So one of the other problems with this particular bin is that there's no good way to kind of seal it up and prevent pests from getting in there. And uh, so that is one of the problems with this kind of bin. If you don't have dry um, shredded substrate on top, then the gnats and stuff do tend to get in this a little bit more readily. So this started out with about a pound of my Red Wiggler European Nightcrawler Blue Worm mix. And I think that it's safe to say we have probably double that in there at this point. So I'm just looking through here, taking out any huge chunks of things, and then this particular bunch of worms is going to go live with blue. So I'm pulling out the big chunks because we'll want that to go at the feeding end of blue, and then this particular portion with all the worms will go in the middle, because I think this could still probably use a little bit of love from the worms, but it's definitely not a moisture that I can sift. Uh, the, you know, the castings are probably pretty well done at this point with the exception of the large chunks, but the, uh, the moisture is not a, something that I can sift. Now, if you don't feel like sifting any of your castings, then, you know, you could just light migrate these guys and use the castings as is in your potted plants in your house or uh, in your garden if, if your weather supports that. But because there are worms and because it is very um, wet, we're going to just kind of do something a little bit more simple and put it in with blue. And the surface area will make it so that I can uh, let this dry out and sift it and behave accordingly. So let me get you moved over to where blue is and we'll get these guys into their new home. Okay, so for those of you that are not familiar with my big 55 gallon worm bin blue, here it is. This over here is the section where all of the live feedings are. This middle section from this little green dot here over is the in process, and then green dot over to this end is finished, waiting to be dried and sifted. So the plan is that I'm going to put the worms and their castings here and then all of the food over here that is in process. So let me put you down and we can see what we're doing. Okay, here we are at blue, and I'm going to upturn this bin. We'll get the stragglers later. But you can see this is very, very wet. Not a good moisture for me. The worms, of course, probably love it. Um, these type of worms really do like anywhere up to about 90% uh, moisture in their bins. And that is what is ideal for them for breeding and the fastest consumption of food. Of course, that makes the bin pretty muddy. So I usually don't run mine anywhere near this wet. 
uh, just when I'm trying to speed up the process and get the worms to finish their food like I am here today. So let me go grab the food and we'll move you down to the business end of blue. Okay, so that is all of the in-process food that blue has had. And I will tuck these cardboards over at the end here where there's generally a lot of moisture and those cardboard noodles can continue on their way of being consumed. So because I've just added a lot, probably two more pounds to blue as far as the worm population goes, I'm gonna do a quick feed here. We're not gonna dig around too much, but I am going to make sure that blue has the room to do uh, a little bit more food. Here's that sheet that we put in before. Um, kind of moving things around. Looks like they still have some food in here. We're not scheduled to look at blue for another week. So this is a sneak peek, but it does look like the, uh, the food we put in before is still there at least a little. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give them a booster feed to hopefully lure the worms out of over there and bring them down here. Okay, so they are going to get some slow food in the way of this avocado that never ripened. Seed and all. Uh, the person who did buy or did uh, I did buy that from did send me a replacement. So you've heard me talk about my big, huge, wonderful Florida avocados, and that one just never ripened, and so they sent me a replacement, which was lovely. Let me get some, some bedding. And that will make sure that none of the flies or anything gets into this food. I'm gonna get them one more thing of bedding. Maybe another. Next time we look in on blue, we're gonna have to do a harvest. We're starting to run out of room here. Okay, and this is my prepared bedding that does have a little bit of leaves in it this time because that is what I'm capable of having this time of year. All right, guys. Well, if you like the end of the lasagna bin, give it a muddy thumbs up. If you wanted to see it from the beginning, there is a playlist right over here. And if you've already seen that, YouTube thinks that you're gonna like this video over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good day.